everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you, and I'm so excited. I've got a big swatch fest for you guys today. Um, so my friend Jen from Jen Tien's, go and check her out if you don't know her already. Uh, I will be putting down in the description box below the link to her channel. She's amazing, and um, I, yeah, big inspiration. Um, and um, she she had some great news in the last video that she made. Um, she's pregnant and uh, so that's that's really awesome um, however this pregnancy came with a, a bit of a, a shocker because um, she was she loved fountain pens like she just adored them and um, she was uh, n like I said an inspiration and I've been watching her videos um, she also loves leather like I do uh, and the TNs and um, so because of the, the the pregnancy she somehow it was making her sick to uh, even think of using a pen a fountain pen which is really is really sad when you love fountain pens so much um, that you can't you can't use them and so uh, back back a few Maybe a month ago, or two two months ago, yeah, maybe in the month of of May, um, I purchased uh, Kuweko from her and got some other pens. And you saw me use the Lamy, the um, rose powder one, in my recent video of the uh, fountain pens that I've got inked right now, and I'm loving playing with it. It makes a huge difference. She made me realize that. Um, I didn't like the fine nibs, the, the extra fine and the fine in the uh, Lamy, I don't like them. And because of that, I didn't, I didn't enjoy playing with them. And, uh, but hers, the, the one that I'm using right now, was um, abroad. And it's such a different experience. And so now I really know that um, I want to get some other... Uh, bigger nibs so that I can actually use my lamis because I like them. Uh, I like the look of them But uh, I just I just couldn't get to use them because I didn't like how they write and At the time when I purchased them back in 2019 I believe 2018 2019 I didn't know anything really about fountain pens And I didn't know that it could make such a big di writing difference the difference of the nib the paper, the inks, all of that good stuff. I, I really was new to this. Um, <clears throat> I think I mentioned on Instagram how um, um, creatively free to be me, uh, Leanne was the one that introduced me originally with uh, fountain pens because she was using them in her journaling. And then so did Courtney Diaz, uh, Little Raven Ink. And so I decided to get into fountain pens and like I said, didn't know any better, so didn't uh, get the nibs, didn't choose different nibs, didn't try them out to see that there was some that I didn't like as much. And I also, um, I like some sparkly inks and, and stuff like that, and not all of those inks flow very well, depending on the nibs. So yeah, it was not a, a good writing experience. But now Jen made me realize that yes, I do, I do like Lamy's. Um, I just don't like the the extra fine ones. So she um, was getting rid of some stuff, um, including some of her inks, and so she obviously like she didn't want my 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 good um, friends that are into fountain pens. Um, they're, they're definitely not there to make money. Um, they like sharing their their tools and with somebody that they know will enjoy uh, writing with them. So I purchased them for a really good price. Um, I also purchased this beauty. It's a Parker 51 that was a treasured possession of Jen. And Jen, if you watch this video, if ever you want it back, just let me know. Uh, in the meantime, I will be treasuring it and uh, using it. Uh, I just have to figure out which ink to put in it because obviously I want it 
not to get ruined so initially the inks was the purchase I made from her as well as she had a sojourner uh, cover and I've never had one of those and I've been looking for them uh, drooling over them but never actually pulled the trigger to get one and she had one in A5 which is my preferred size like I just love A5s has a beautiful pocket and it has um, the inside here the leather is just oh it's so yummy to the touch and it smells amazing so she sent that along with um, this which I didn't know was coming with it which is great because it's uh, it's awesome to be able to um, put that behind your paper when you write to make sure that you don't um, well first of all you see the lines second of all depending on the paper you're using and it also makes it stronger uh, when you're writing and uh, I purchased the A5s that she had um, some of the, the, the notebooks because I've been I've been looking to uh, have well I'm always look on the lookout for new ones uh, because I write a lot I do a lot of journaling and I use them for all kinds of st stuff if you follow me on Instagram and on my or and on or <laughs> on my Facebook page you will see that I'm participating in the hashtag fountain pen challenge and it's uh, a challenge where you write uh, based on a prompt every day and so I'm using one of my journals to write in there and I'm just having a blast using my fountain pens for that so so this was part of what I expected but I didn't expect to get this here this beautiful tray it holds 50 little vials which is amazing because if I put into vials my um, my inks uh, for the 30 days then I can I can just pull from that um, and obviously I have this little one but it only holds eight so this is like a huge difference um, I'd seen Mary Odge use one of those you can get them I believe from Goulet Pen but they they stopped carrying them for a little bit because they were having quality issues um, but yeah so I'm very happy to have this because I didn't have one and then she sent me this which is a little gold spot special edition storyboard uh, notebook which is great because it's just the perfect size to go into uh, one of my leather bound um, covers which is from uh, Prima and it has a weird weird size I find that not everything fits in it so it's kind of nice to have something else that uh, I can use um, so yeah so looking forward to using that in there and she also sent me uh, two amazing nibs and uh, yeah and just extras in in the inks as well that I didn't expect so we've got a lot to swatch and we're just gonna have fun with it because you know me I love to swatch inks it just it just makes my heart sing I'm happy and it just yeah inks are just a joy for me anything to do with color actually is is really it brightens up my day and um, and there's two in the in the, the things there's two that are not inks but that are watercolors um, that you can use in in art which is really fun um, and I need to use my those more I've got beautiful uh, PH Martins that I don't use enough so yes need to do that but for now we'll be doing the swatching and of course like running out of desk space I'm so looking forward to having the new space uh, in my son's actual bedroom right now it's gonna be a lot of fun to have that extra extra room so let's uh, continue swatching um, let's continue on this page just to make it more yummy and uh, so I have this opened up at Sailor and I'm thinking there's two there's two Sailor inks and it's really cool because I don't have uh, those I'll start off by saying there's two that I do have already so I'm not going to be swatching them the Lamy um, tourmaline 
as well as Poussière de Lune from G. Herbin. Um, so these are going straight to my dad. Um, it's very exciting because I'm getting him like really involved in, in the hobby. And obviously because he's retired and so is his spouse, um, purchasing inks it can get pretty expensive. So um, I will be giving him these. I've given him, I had a double of uh, Lamy turquoise, so I gave that to him. So now he's going to have no excuse not to write to me. Um, <laughs> I don't think he watches my video, but if he does, um, you're warned, Dad. <laughs> so, the let's start off with the sailors. So there's Sailor Delaware and Sailor Nine Six Seven. Um, I don't. I only have one Sailor Ink, and it's the Seven Three Five. So I'm very excited to have more. And uh, so, yeah, let's. Let's check out this beautiful color. That's a very intriguing color. I would have thought it was purple, but it's kind of a kind of a reddish pinkish color I was thinking it was more purple because of the um, the label but it's not it's not coming out to be purple on here so I forgot to write it and I've pulled out a tray beside me so that I can actually um, put them on the tray. Somebody mentioned, I don't remember the name, but uh, mentioned uh, using um, one of those uh, trays, at TV trays, and uh, I, can't, I don't have room inside my, my space here, but I have this here that I can put this on and um, I put it on my recycling bin. This is really a gorgeous ink. This will fit for sure. It's more of the violet, I would say, I guess, than the purples because it has more pink or reddish color to it. Okay, so this is a sailor. This is my first, um, my first ink of the, the 50 states. I don't have any of them. I'm sorry about my dogs. They must have heard the mailman or something. I didn't hear anything drop in the mailbox, but I would suspect that that's what, what it is. Because usually when they bark like that, that's what it is. I'm not expecting any other package. This morning, the the postman was really fat, like early, um, the one for the packages. So I was very excited to see that I had this. So this is really a stunning, stunning ink. Now let's do the 967, which should be a green. Oh yes, it's a wonderful green. Uh, Oh, pretty. This is the type of green I love. And I don't have a lot of greens like that. I'm not sure I have any actually I'm curious I'm gonna want to check it right away which I shouldn't I should be doing this after I finished filming but yeah yeah I don't I don't think I'm gonna have any the closest I think is the uh, private reserve avocado and this looks like it's different so this is Sailor, 
nine, six, seven. Might as well use up the little leftover ink. Very pretty. Put that aside. So those are the two sailors so far on that Traveler's Notebook paper. And I can see a beautiful sheen here where I've put a lot of ink. It hasn't dried yet. But there's kind of a goldish undertone to it. Very interesting. I don't know if it's more of a... Uh, it's kind of a hard color to pin down. But probably one that I will include in my... Um, in my uh, 30 days in uh, the month of uh, September. Because I am looking for more um, purples and things like that to use so it's definitely going to be a good one for that okay so then uh, let's uh, let's go to the smaller ones uh, so we can put this uh, I'm going to put So these are going to be oops, sample bottles. I try to split with samples versus uh, small bottles just so that I can actually, um, and everything was so well packaged, I can't even begin to tell you. I think this one is going to be an amazing color. It's the uh, it it seems to be um, Birmingham Pen Company Galactic Twinkle, and just by the name you can tell and you can sell here that there's shimmer inside this thing. So this is going to be this is going to be a fun one. I can tell. I love anything to do with shimmer and I don't have any of the shimmer inks from um, from pen company yet it is something that I'm looking into getting but I haven't yet I want to put through another order because I um, I have the possibility of getting um, uh, a free bottle because I had a special coupon oh this is so sparkly <gasps> oh my god this is just beyond amazing guys <gasps> this I need this in my life like I need a huge bottle of this in my life and turn this over so that I can use this oh wow it's sheeny, it's sparkly, it's just goodness in a little bottle. So, this is Mingham Pen Co. St. Paul Galactic. Okay, so. Well, I can't spell. If 
you're gonna go with blues and things like that you need this well especially if you like shimmering inks has everything for it like everything the sheen and the the shimmer oh this is just amazing I might have to give the sample over to my dad and, and, and purchase myself a big bottle of this or finish the sample and then purchase it but I'm always afraid that they're going to run out and change their inks or whatever. Especially when I find one that's just like this. Oh. Sparkle oh goodness. Okay, then there's this one here, which is Nagasawa Kobe. And number... Number 34, uh, Sorak. Kuen Tea Green. Don't know this company. I don't have any of their inks. And there's a little uh, plastic to protect it. Uh, Put that in there. I'll be able to put this little piece back though. Okay, so oh, that's another beautiful green. Very rich, very dark. in the water. Okay, so now this one is not got sa wa Kobe. It's a sample. And it's number 34. So that Kuen green Number three, four. T. I hope I'm not pronouncing this super wrong. I probably am. There's so many ink companies that I don't know. It's it's crazy. I know so little. You know, you feel like you've you've learned more, but then you discover that no, actually, you haven't. Okay, and then there's two samples here from of Robert Oster, and uh, so one is Solferino. Um, no, one is Robert Oster and the other one is Rohrer and Klinger, Solferino. 
and I believe I'm gonna like that one because it seems to be in shades of uh, purple and you know me and purples got to love my purples oh and I dropped some water on the card okay so here we go let's start off with the Robert Oster this is Great Southern Ocean and it seems to be a rich blue Seems fairly dry when I'm applying it with um, with the uh, the brush. So Robert Oster, it's a sample, and it's uh, great. Uh, Southern Ocean. Sorry if I'm not being talkative. Got a feeling that this is going to be a long video. Okay, so here we go. And then uh, I'm gonna put these back into the little cap so that when I bring them back upstairs, I don't. Actually, I should just leave them in there until I bring them back upstairs. So this is a dark, a dark blue, and uh, then we have for her clinger the sulfurino i've seen i've seen this before I, I believe i've seen somebody use this before i don't know who oh my god this is gorgeous oh wow 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 i need this in my life this needs to be part of my my 30 days in the month of uh of September for sure I will be using the sample I'm gonna have to choose a pen that doesn't have a lot of ink in it uh, so roll for, 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 and that. So for Reno. There are so many nice one uh, nice inks. It's just oh my god. I'm having so much fun these days uh, doing some Zen doodling and stuff like that with them. So, uh, so for me, no, I'm writing all 
crooked. My water is all dirty. This is a very pretty. And I like the sheen where I've put a lot of ink at the bottom. Oh my god, my hands are a mess. Not very surprising because whenever I play with inks, that's usually what happens. But I do have a doctor's appointment this afternoon and uh, it would have been nice not to have ink all over me. Oh well. Now, let's go into the Jacques Herbin. So these are the samples. And check out the first one. Oh my god, I love it. So pretty. Okay, so those are all the samples. So now we're going to go with um, Jacques Herbin. And uh, so this one is Bleu des Profondeurs. I usually really love Jacques Herbin inks. Oh, it's a nice purpley blue. Oh, very pretty. It's definitely profondeur, which means like the bottom of the ocean. It's very dark. Beautiful. Oh, love it. Um, I'm gonna try to put some water in another little container because uh, right now my it's kind of getting hard to wash this here. So I have some water in a spray bottle, and it's gonna serve this purpose right now. I should have, usually I have two containers when I'm going to do a lot of swatching like this. I didn't do it this time. Okay, so next one is Rouge Grenat from Jacques Herbin. This is not usually a color that I would go with. Uh, how many? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, usually I don't go into reds all that much, but this is a very pretty one. If you're gonna write with red, this is a really dark. Would be a perfect one for Christmas time. So, 
Et harpin rouge grenat and smini oh Uh, I need to get the um, violet pincé uh, bottle so that I can refill my my pens. Um, I had it was in the Laban um, pen that I purchased used, and now I really want it. I really want a bottle of it. Would be great for that uh, 30 days. So this is Eclat Saphir. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is a bluish, purplish color. Yeah. This goes with... I'm curious to see what it's going to compare to. Oh, so pretty. It really feels purplish. But we shall see when I compare to the others. Okay, next one is one that I really wanted to purchase. So I'm, I'm very excited that... Uh, it was part of the ones that Jen was wanted to get uh, rid of, and that was Lit de Thé. I've seen so many people use that one, and it looks really like a gorgeous brown. Um, I'm not usually all that much into browns, but it looked like one that would be really nice. So, yeah, definitely very pretty. Whoops, yeah, it's shocking, but I thought I'd made a mistake and not changed the page. This is the the last of the Jacques Herbin, so I need to make sure that I change my page after so I don't uh, make a boo boo. So, she Herbin. Whoops. Lily de T. I am curious to see how it compares to uh, Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. that away. I love these bottles with the little, uh, not that it's very, <laughs> you would need to have maybe this. Yeah, it would have to be one of those uh, type of dip pens that uh, you put a nib on. Okay, so 
These are the Jacques Herbin ones. As you can see, like it's 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 very pale blue. Like it's a, it's bluish purplish color. At least that's how I feel. Okay, so this is uh, what's the next one? I'm gonna go into the Edelstein, and this one is Smoky Quartz. Oh, funny! I thought it was gonna be gray. I didn't expect it to be brown. Huh. Somehow I don't associate um, quartz with brown. I usually associate it with grays or um, yeah. This is strange. Maybe I'm the only one that uh, will feel that way. <laughs> Guess maybe because it's smoky quartz. But smoky to me still is brown. Is um gray. Cause smoke to me doesn't is not brown. This is strange. And I made a mistake, it's smoky. Don't get me wrong, it's it's beautiful, but it's just very intriguing to me. Hmm. Okay. Then we have some, uh, um, we've got two Birmingham pen company. It's pretty. But it's definitely brown, which it was not. I was not expecting that. Um, then I said Birmingham. And I don't have either of those so that's really cool. I've just started having uh, Birmingham Pen Company inks. <gasps> this looks beautiful. Oh I'm gonna have fun with this one I think. Oh yes. This is a tealish bluish color. Oh just gorgeous. It's, it's funny because it's just underneath the Ohio River one that I got as a gift. And it's a very similar color, but it's much darker. It's more like Supercell, I would say.
one. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And I think I'm gonna maybe change this around again so I can finish using up. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And you can see here what I mean by it's similar uh, similar shades but in a darker and it does remind me a lot of this one which is the supercell so I'm gonna have to check that out and uh, let's do the last one of Birmingham and then we've got the two watercolors so this one is ice rink and beautiful blue and I've got it That piece of paper is going to be ready to be used for my art, for sure, once this is done. Whoops, I dipped it a bit much. So much so that I just did a big bloop on my page. And that will probably show on the other page. Yeah. Um, so this is ice rink. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, so those are all the inks, um, but we'll do the watercolors just for the fun of it because those are still colors. I'll put this aside to dry. And uh, I will put this away because I'm not going to be putting that in there but I will be putting it in here okay so two little brushes um, trying to use cheap, nice cheap brushes that are perfect for this okay so we have two echo line one is 676 and one is 522 and I've got a feeling the 522 is going to be exactly in the type of colors I, I love this one seems a bright uh, yeah a bright green almost neon green I would say This is Eco Mine Six Seven Six. I could write with my my dip pen, but I don't want to have to clean it out again. Eco Line Six Seven Six. So those are watercolors, watercolor inks. Um, Jen mentioned to me that. Um, um, Ecoline has brush 
brush pens that you can refill and those are inks that you can use for that it's a very fun very fun almost neon type of green and then finally this one which I've got a feeling is like a teal bluish teal And I managed to put some of the other color on there. That's oh, okay. Okay, those are really awesome. And check out that paper. It, I think it's, I can call it done. I think there's enough ink on there to, um, to call this piece of paper done. And somehow I had pulled some other ones. Okay, there it is. So that I could stop the glare. And uh, where's my pen? So this is the Coline 522. I really appreciate um, those as extras. Thank you so much, Jen. I'm gonna definitely use them in uh, some of my art. So those are all the inks and um, that I got today uh, on Rhodia paper. And Rhodia paper uh, clearly doesn't is more yellow, so it doesn't give the same um, the same feeling as you would with the other papers. Okay, so now let's uh, put this back in the box before I go and make a miss, like make a boo boo and put it all over. And we're gonna look at the different swatches. I'm gonna put that aside. Oh, sorry, we'll be back. Okay, so here are all the beautiful inks that I've swatched. There is a lot. So I've pulled out all the ink cards that I had that I thought could be close to somewhat this. Um, so let, let's pull these away and uh, we will go in the order of, uh, let's, let's put them kind of in the order of the colors because that's how I'm going to pull out the cards. We'll go with the green first. So you can see that they're quite different. Um, so this is the the Sorakuen Tea Green from Nagasuwa Kobe and this is the 967 from um, Sailor. Beautiful, beautiful inks. I really love how dark this is. The only ones I could find that were even close to being uh, in these range was a Monteverde Olivine ink and this is the avocado and you can see like it's not it's it's not at all the same um, and I have nothing nothing that compares to this at all so I'm very very excited about this one and um, glad that there's uh, still quite a lot of the sample so I can I can try it out and see if uh, that ink is still available because it's a gorgeous gorgeous green so those are that then uh, if we go into the brown the the browns here is Lidete, here is Smoky Quartz. I guess now I can kind of see why it's called Quartz because there is some gray, um, but there's still so much brown that to me, I, I don't know, I would not have necessarily have called this Quartz. Um, and uh, I had nothing, nothing whatsoever that was anywhere close to this. Well, I thought I had one. Wait, 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 wait. Did I mix up my cards? 
yeah I do have wait 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 these but I don't have many as the thing whoops and I pulled out one too many okay so this is the toffee brown from uh, Mont Blanc you can see like there's kind of undertones that are a bit similar but they're still so many so much different this one though I had this one from Diamine it's Les Paul um, the guitar series is desert desert burst and I thought that one looked fairly similar but that's all I could come up with so they're very very different and that one it that one like it's really stunning but it's it's definitely more brown than I would have expected let's just say that then rouge grenat so I pulled out this is blood orange from diamine this is a Robert Oster Sedona red the um, Panchale exclusive and this is not at all the same, but it's the Jacques Herbin uh, Rouge et Matite from the series 1670. Um, so, a bit similar, um, but still different, I find. So, still a lot of fun. Then uh, there's this one here, the Delaware. That one is like was really hard for me to try to pin down. The one that I think comes closest is this Diamine Noel. Um, I've pulled out these as well. Like there's Andromeda, which like the part that's really really dark can be a bit similar. This is Little Bob from Diamine. See, this is, has more pink. This is uh, Diamine Dark Purple. So definitely not. Um, this is Diamine Writer's Blood. Not at all either. Um, then this is the Black Swan Australian Rose. So, so yeah, my closest I would say is probably this and somewhat um, Andromeda, but not really and then we have Silferino and again I was I was reminded a bit of this one but I also thought of this and this and I would say these two look m closer to it this is Sailor 735 and this is the Colorverse Einstein ring um, these two here are supposed to be very close to Bugnabox Lama. Um, and so I would say that this one probably is as well then because they're all in the same type of range. Um, but I don't have the Bugnabox uh, Lama. But I'm curious um, if, uh, Chris, you are listening to my video, I would be curious to know if you've got uh, this ink in your... Um, in your uh, stash and if it is close to what I'm thinking it is um, so yeah I'd be very curious so if you watch my video Chris please check it out um, I'm very curious to know if it would be in the same same range then we've got the galactic twinkle and oh my god this is just like oh this is just my ultimate ultimate type of ink um, so I've pulled out a bunch of different ones thinking maybe so I've got I mean um, Midnight Hour uh, Birmingham Angelfish um, what else do I have none of these none of these here I have Diamine Happy Holidays. But it has a lot of turquoise more than this is more blue. This is Nitrogen Studio. You can see it's a lot more blue. Little Irby 
It's, they're different. And I've got Colorverse Extra Dimension and Diamine Little Chris, which may be a bit, but still very different, I find. So very unique um, and just gorgeous, gorgeous shine and sheen and everything in between. Like it has everything, like just everything. So I will definitely have to check that one out. So then I have a Bleu des Profondeurs. Again, you've got the Midnight Hour. Um, and you've got the Happy Holidays. See, they're different and they're not the same as that. Then I thought maybe this one, which is uh, Ferris Wheel, Tens of Night Sky. Uh, then I've got the Little Mickey. Just a bit, but not quite. Then Midnight Blue from Private Reserve. Similar to the dark part, but then Mysterious Blue. And it's pretty much that's pretty much it. It doesn't really doesn't really fit anything. So so that then I have this one which is the the uh, ink ice rink so from Birmingham then you got the the waterman mysterious blue the midnight blue from uh, private reserve you can see it's not the same um, I'm trying to see I don't have it's really kind of different I have Mark Twain but you see it's not the same quasar this is more like a darker darker blue um, kind of like this which is diamine IP holidays but without the sheen um, got little Mickey but that that one has more purple I find yeah that's it don't have anything else to go with it um, then uh, this one I can put there then I've got Eclat de Saphir from Jacques Herbin and that one I thought Quasar maybe a bit uh, Serenity Blue a bit then this one is the uh, Sailor uh, Shikiori Neo Sumir is a bit similar. Got the Mark Twain from Conklin. And that's about as close as uh, I have for that. So, so this, this, these go here. Then I have Boiler Steam from Birmingham. So you've got Eau de Nil from Diamine, which you can see is pa more pale. You've got Peacock Flare, which is a little bit more, but not quite the same. This is the Ferris Wheel Blue, Vel Blue Grass Velvet. Again, it's more pale than this. This is Supercell. So it is in the same range. Um, I would say then this is Ohio River and this is Kingfisher so you know like I don't know it's really kind of hard to figure it out uh, I would still say that this uh, Ferris wheel is bluegrass is closer to the Ohio River um, in the order of this, honestly, I would say f the pale, uh, I'd be kind of inclined to do something like this, but this one has a more gray, um, yeah, and this one seems to have more green in it, so they're all still very different, um, which is great because I love all of those colors, and, um, you know like they're none of them is exactly the same so that's really awesome 
And then you've got Great Ocean, Great Southern Ocean from Robert Oster. And none of these. I had this one that I thought might be a bit, which is the M from Colorverse. And see, like, it, it is a bit like this, but still very different. So, yeah. So those are all my inks. Wow, it's been it's been a lot of fun. I'm getting to have a lot more swatch cards, which is great. I'm starting to feel like maybe I'm I can be uh, a contender for uh, having um, being able to to compare better inks together because I really didn't have many before, and now I'm starting to have more. Um, I'm just loving, loving, loving this, and I hope that you've watched. If you come all the way to the end, bravo, chapeau! I'm very <laughs> excited that you st stuck around uh, for this super long video. I love you guys. Stay safe, and see you guys soon. Thank you so much, Jen, and go and check out Jen's channel if you don't know her. Bye.